Hello everyone, it's Techius. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to root your LG G3. Uh, in this case, this is a D855, the international version. So I'm just going to show you the easiest way to root this. Just to note that this is running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So let's get to it. First of all, you need to download this folder right over here. And this zip file actually. Uh, I'll post the link in the description so just open this up and then extract it to the desktop okay all right so so in this folder you have four files okay two of them uh, are apk and uh, the other two are zip folders so first of all what you need to do is connect your connect your g3 to your computer yes all right and then make sure you allow data transfer and then okay so g3 go to your computer and then select g3 internal storage and okay okay what you need to do is well this is my preference just copy the apk to the download folder yeah. and then copy the zip files copy the zip files to the internal storage is the zip file. okay now we are good to go and you can just disconnect if you want to all right the first thing you need to do is let me show you this slide. All right, just go to your okay. go to the app section, and then you need to select File Manager. I hope you can see this. All right, just need to accept. Well, I just installed this Marshmallow, so that's why. Oh, uh, no. Before that, you need to go to Settings, and then go to General. General security go down and you need to tick this box that's called unknown sources which is going to allow you to install uh, apps from other sources sources other than the play store okay now that you selected that go back to your file manager okay and then select all files and now that you're in the internal storage section go there and go to download okay now you should be able to see Two apk files one is the king root and the other one is called autorec okay first run king root Inst install it and then if you can just see this now what you need to do is okay just click up click accept let it install Alright, now you might get this warning, just go to more details and install it again. Okay, I'll just go and open that. Alright, you should be able to see the screen. Just swipe up and swipe up again and now we're on the page. Click try it. I was just gonna check whether your mobile is rooted or whether it's rooted. Okay, so once you're in this screen it says root access is unavailable. And it says the model is uh, D855, and now you just need to try to root. Click on that, and I'll wait till it does its job. Okay, 
So when the application closes itself and you go back to your you know, screen where you started or the download folder, that means it's rooted. So now what you need to do is click on this auto work. Is also not for then click install. What what this will do is that uh, this is gonna install the custom recovery that's needed for your device. Now just click open and you need to allow root access. Not sure what okay now you can click on the um, you can press ok i get it and now it's just flashing the custom recovery and then straight away it's gonna boot into recovery okay twrp is now installed okay good Now see, it's gonna boot into your custom recovery. Okay. All right. Now what you need to do is click on install, and then you're gonna scroll down and look for the two folders, the two zip folders that you placed in the root, uh, well, the internal storage. First of all, you need to click on this and the one with the number three in it. And click on that zip folder and just slide this to flash so now you are flashing the zip folder so you're basically installing a custom kernel okay now that you are done installing that go ahead go to home and then reboot and system reboot into system Okay. Alright, so now you have a device which is rooted and has a custom recovery installed and of course a custom kernel. Uh, there's one more thing that you need to do is that uh, you need to install the super user app, you know. So let's go. Alright, and this is a good opportunity for me to teach you how to boot into recovery. Okay, first, well, this is for LG G3. First, you need to power off your device power off power off ok just wait till this uh, LED switches off ok now once it's completely powered off this is how you boot into your recovery first thing you need to do is hold the power button and the volume down button together until the LG logo appears now that once it appears you're just gonna let go both of the buttons for like a second or two and then press them again press those both press those two buttons again okay so you're just gonna hold power and volume down together i'm just gonna hold it with the same finger okay now hold until the logo appears and then let go for a while and press them again until the factory data reset screen okay just don't worry it's not gonna reset your data just uh you need to select yes but then the touch screen is not gonna work you have to use these buttons so volume down is to go down volume up is to go up and then select with the power button okay so you go down with the volume down and then select yes and go down yes again yes again and then it's just gonna boot into recovery so that's how you boot into recovery and once you once you boot into recovery you can back up straight away go to backup and back up everything and then save it to your computer so you don't have anyone done and uh, so yeah back to the video we need to we need to install one more 
it was the super user over here you have the beta super su so you can just select that and zip there that's the last step so it's just going to install this all right now we can just reboot the system well yep and that's pretty much it now you have a perfectly rooted SDK3 uh, with no issues, no bugs, uh, it's perfectly fine. If you are interested in uh, installing custom ROMs, uh, please leave a comment and I can teach you how to do it if you want. Yes. So yeah, thank you for watching and please do enjoy rooted LG G3. But thank you for watching. Uh, like and comment. If you have any problems, issues, or anything, or if you have any suggestions uh, on more videos that I should do, please do leave them down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.